unemployment, immediate unemployment, right, at no fault of your own, has a mental impact on people, right? That right. you're working on Thursday and then Monday you, you don't have a job. You, people start thinking about they can't pay their mortgage. You know, people are home with their kids more. People, you know, you know, they 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 they're not understanding what they can do. There's, I don't think I think the mental toll that mass and immediate unexpected unemployment has on a person is something that we haven't talked about in this country. So what what, what we're seeing is many people are calling us who are unemployed, but they but they're struggling to mentally cope with what that means. And so while they need a job, they have so many other mental needs. So one thing that we're launching in January is some life coaching, virtual life coaching, to help people process. It should be a lot to help people process what has happened to them through this layoff, kind of gather their feelings and emotions, and repurpose that energy effectively into their new job search. So we have a partner called Inquire Within Coaching, um, and they are providing virtual life coaching to help people cope with that immediate job loss. And I can connect you with them if you want to speak with them. But I think, Raul, that's one of the things that, that, that we're doing that you won't see in D.C., that you won't really see in many other workforce areas and counties across the region or the country is that we're really having a holistic approach to putting people back to work. Not only are we providing virtual services, we're really providing some virtual life coaching services to help people be able to process the immediate job loss, all of the anxiety, and work towards that to get back in a career. Right, right. And Inquire Within Coaching is a minority women-owned small business. Uh, from a, 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 a resident that is born and raised in Prince George County. So we're also supporting a small business in Prince George County, which is a win-win. Win-win all the way. Are there particular industries or developing job market that you see as areas people might want to look at in the first, second, third quarters of 2021? People. Yeah, the information technology. Uh, IT was one of the industries that's been the least impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, um, one, because a lot of IT jobs were already virtual, right? Help desk, IT, you know, help desk, those uh, network technicians. A lot of times you, when you have an issue with your phone, your cable, your computer, you don't, you don't pack up your laptop and bring it somewhere. You call somebody, right? And they, they work, they network into it virtually. So what we want to position, we want to, if Black Prince George wants to position Prince George County residents for optimal success by helping them identify transferable skills and move them into careers that align, and we believe one of those is IT. There's thousands of IT jobs that are unfilled in our region right now during the pandemic. So we are partnering with a number of different virtual training providers, uh, to prepare Prince George County residents, providing free online training in IT. Uh, and then we, and so we partner with a company called MedCert, which I can let you interview. They have a pilot where they will, we're doing a pilot in the first quarter of the year where not only will we cover the tuition costs through the virtual IT training, when people graduate and actually receive their industry certification, they'll get a thousand dollars. Nice. So we're going to incentivize them getting a new skill with $1,000. So not only will we pay for your training, we'll actually, if you complete the training, get your certificate, you get $1,000. And then we're going to help them get a job. Uh, we've also partnered with 2U, which is the one of the fastest growing IT companies in the D.C. metropolitan region, to create a fund where you have uh, university partners like University of Richmond, which has a virtual services, with, and they have these what you call IT boot camps. Uh, these IT boot camps are are supposed to be seen as the um, another option for post secondary education outside of getting a four year degree that's faster and more cost efficient at about eleven thousand uh, dollars. We create we partnered with 2U, the first kind of public private 